Yes. Now, Miss Layla. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. Everyone, welcome to our 55th webinar of the English, English Arab uh, Teachers Association, hosted by Mrs. Shawqiya Hawawra. Uh, today, uh, we uh, are uh, hosting a webinar entitled Addressing Unique Challenges Faced by Special Needs, a very important topic. Um, our guest speaker will be uh, Mr. Khalid Ibrahim from Sudan. Mr. Khalid Ibrahim is uh, uh, an MIE Microsoft uh, Innovative uh, Educator Expert of, from 2021-2022. He is a class point certified trainer, uh, IELTS trainer, teacher trainer, master of English language uh, teacher teaching, and uh, he graduated from the University of Blue Nile from Sudan. Uh, he is uh, uh, he has a teaching knowledge test from Cambridge. He's also a bachelor of science in economics and social studies, University of. Uh, Khadum. Mr. Khalid Ibrahim is a Bachelor of English Language Teaching, University of uh, Bakhid El Rida. Uh, he's an English language teacher uh, from uh, two, 2000 to uh, 2009 from, in Sudan. He's an English language supervisor from 2009 to uh, 2014 in Sudan again. And he is an English language supervisor from 2014 up to now, uh, from of uh, the Ministry of Education of Sultanate of Oman. Um, we have the honor to uh, invite you, uh, of course, uh, uh, with our chief uh, uh, editor, Mrs. Uh, Shokia Hawaura. Uh, she is uh, an MIE expert and uh, a master trainer. Uh, she is. Uh, she has also. Uh, she is also the president of uh, um, It is another uh, professional development, learning, uh, and training uh, team. Um, all we are gathered here to uh, listen to uh, one of uh, the best topics. And here today with you, I'm uh, your moderator, coordinator of this uh, session, uh, Mrs. Leila Taik from. Morocco, I'm um, MI expert and English teacher, and I'm here with you to uh, learn and learn. Uh, let's learn together because sharing is uh, caring. Mrs. Shalkiya, the floor is yours to start uh, uh, some uh, introductions. Yes, thank you, Miss Leila, our best coordinator from Morocco uh, for the Arab English Teachers Association. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. I am Shawqiya Hawawra from Palestine, the president of the Arab English Teachers Association, and we are so pleased and so glad to be with you in the 55th webinar about different strategies and the 21st century skills here and we welcome our guest speaker for not for the first time and not for the last time inshallah uh, he is uh, called mr khaled ibrahim an mie expert and teacher trainer from sudan welcome mr khaled Thanks, and we are so glad to be with us. And we also want to uh, give you great thanks for accepting our invitation to be with us in this great webinar. Thank you another time and welcome. And also we won't forget to welcome our attendees from all over the world. And now the floor is yours, Mr. Khalid. You can go ahead. Thank you so much for for perfect invitation, and thank you, Mrs. Leila, for this introduction. You have given me so much. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, to participate and share with my colleagues 
uh, whom uh, we benefited a lot from their witness, uh, fortunately. And we have always been following uh, Mrs. Shawqiya efforts and her team. And, and we are part of this team, of course, uh, fortunately. And we are honored by sharing and participating with uh, these uh, talented and very beneficial work for our teachers as well as for us and for our students. We are all, uh, alhamdulillah, working together uh, to face the challenges uh, we all face, our students, our teachers, and, and uh, our main goal is uh, to overcome these difficulties uh, and, and uh, to innovate our students. And uh, uh, this uh, today, um, uh, Mr. Chaukia is always uh, encouraging us and inspiring us uh, to carry out these uh, weapons. Uh, and in spite of all uh, what we are doing uh, in our work and in our profession, but uh, it is very essential. Her invitation is very uh, welcome. And um, today we are going to, to deal with and welcome our attendees. And you are also doing uh, much work and your participation is uh, very favored and, uh, and very valued. Uh, today we are going to address, uh, we are addressing unique challenges faced by special needs. You are always speaking about other students. Today we are going to speak about our special need stu student. Those students are part of our, our society and they are very talented. They are very creative. But because they have some challenges, uh, we want to, to overcome these challenges. We want to treat these challenges so that we, we, our students uh, uh, from that part, the special needs, and who are part of, of, of our society and who are our sons and daughters. And, and, and because they are very innovative, they are very creative, they just want uh, somebody to discover and explore and uh, help them to overcome these small difficulties. I uh, starting by, uh, we will start by uh, an overview, what are we are going to deal with. We are going to deal with types of disabilities in mainstream school setting. Uh, we are also Sorry, going to- Sorry, but uh, you are not sharing your screen. Sorry for interruption. You can be start uh, sharing. Okay. Again. Okay, minute. Is it okay now? Not yet. No. Okay, now, yes, now it's visible. Okay. Yes. Uh, we are going to deal with types of disabilities. Uh, sorry for this. Types of disabilities in mainstream school setting. And these are uh, intellectual disabilities, uh, learning disabilities, autism spectrum disorder, uh, behavioral disorder, and physical impairment. And we also in addition to identifying all these uh, disabilities, we also want to, 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 to know how uh, to manage uh, these difficulties. Uh, management of special needs conditions, uh, what is the role of the teacher and what is the role of the parents, and some specific tips uh, to deal with these uh, problems. Children with special needs, 
they may have challenges that are more severe than the typical child and could possibly last a lifetime. It might not stop any for, for a while. It might continue with them. Uh, they may need extra support and additional services. And they also, they could include academic, social, emotional, and, and sometimes medical intervention. So we want uh, all these things uh, to be uh, in consideration. Uh, individuals with Disabilities Education Act. It is there is an act. It ensures that all children with disabilities are entitled to a free, appropriate public education to meet that unique needs and prepare them for further education, employment, and independent living. We do not just neglect them. We should give them their rights. We should. Uh, there is an act, a, a national, uh, an international act which uh, necessitate uh, that students with uh, disabilities should have their uh, have education. Uh, special needs conditions. The, the first one is the physical impairment. Just like a visual impairment, those who cannot see, locomotor impairment, they are not able to go to work and something like that. There is also a special intellectual disability, uh, autism spectrum disorder and sensory processing. Uh, also, there is what we call behavioral disorders. We call them ADHD, ODD, and CD for, 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 for all these categories. Uh, what are the sensory motor challenges? These, uh, the delay in growth, for example, Sometimes uh, those, our children, uh, they do not go well. Or, or fine motor skill development. For example, some, some cannot uh, grip the pencil the right way. Uh, poor motor coordination. They, they, there is no coordination between the eye and the, and the hand. And so dropping things, tripping over things, for example. Uh, also, there are sensory issues. Uh, exaggerated or this uh, diminished response due to hypersensitivity, and this is faced by the teachers. And you, they are very high sensitive or high sensitivity to certain lights, sounds, and textures. Some students, and uh, for example, those disabilities, they are very sensitive about the light itself. They are very sensitive about the sounds. Uh, well, yeah, they, they do not like very loud sounds. And they are also with the uh, uh, textures, for example, when they walk. Uh, there is also what we call uh, cognitive challenges. These cognitive challenges are uh, difficulty sustaining focus, attention. They are, are easily distracted. They cannot, for example, follow up the teacher. Uh, difficulty in shifting from one task to another. For example, if they stay too uh, much time in one activity and they cannot move easily to another activity. Difficulty remembering things. They have uh, a very poor memory. Difficulty in finding similarities and differences. They cannot easily, for example, uh, uh, explore the, or discover uh, what are similarities and what are the differences. Difficulty in sorting. They, could, they do not know how to sort things, uh, classifying and organizing. These are related to their cognition. And uh, there is also communication challenges, just like a delayed speech development, a difficulty in pronunciation, uh, difficulty in following up directions, uh, difficulty holding a conversation, and also difficulty speaking on a topic or they have very, very limited vocabulary. These are also uh, related to the communication. They, they cannot communicate uh, easily. Uh, they are also social emotional challenges, just like uh, difficulty making friends. They cannot easily make friends. They cannot socialize easily with others. Sorry, they sorry, have... another time for interruption, but uh, the slides are not moving. Um, yeah. This is another problem. Is it not moving now? 
No, it is the, just on the first one. Yeah. Yes, now cognitive challenges. Now, yeah. uh, it, it appears to all. Uh, is it now clear? Sorry? Yes, uh, cognitive it, challenges. Yes, cognitive challenges. Yes. We, we, we yes. went over this uh, sustaining focus and attention, uh, difficulty in shifting from one task to another. They cannot uh, easily go from a task to another task. They have also difficulty in remembering things and poor memory. They have difficulty in finding similarities and differences. And they have difficulty in sorting, classifying, and organizing. Uh, for communication, uh, they, they have a delay in speech development. They cannot speak easily. For example, some they have difficulty in pronunciation. And, and when we are teaching, we, we observe that they sometimes, for example, they cannot differentiate between the P and P, the D and P. They, they, they look the same for them. They have difficulty following directions. They cannot easily follow directions. Uh, they have also difficulty in holding a conversation, uh, difficulty speaking on a topic because they have a very, very limited vocabulary. Uh, social emotional challenges. Uh, are you following me? Hello? Yes, yes, we follow you. Okay. Yes, carry on, please. And, and, and the slides are, are, are appearing. Yes, it's in, in cognitive challenges. It's still in cognitive challenges. It doesn't. No, it's still in cognitive challenges. Why it doesn't move? Maybe you go out and reshare again. Okay. Oh no, no, just just uh, just put no them, no uh, sensory and motor and challenges. challenges. It's showing, yes. Sensory motor now. challenges. Now? Now, sensory motor challenges. Yes. And now? Okay. Uh, still now there? Yes, it's in the, the sixth uh, slide. Sensory motor challenges, right? Okay. Individual social emotional yeah. challenges, individuals and with now? disabilities. Yes, individuals with disabilities. Okay. And we were social emotional challenges, difficulty making friends, they cannot socialize easily. They have difficulty in understanding and gestures, the body language and facial expressions. They also may experience an anxiety, uh, fear of low self-esteem when in a group. They, they are not very confident about themselves. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to ask just a question for uh, my uh, uh, excellent attendees. Have you experienced, if anyone here, for example, have experienced any kind of, of, of uh, a student with difficulty uh, with uh, disabilities? I just want them uh, to share their uh, using the phone, for example, because this is very important for all of us. Hello? Hello? Yes, can you repeat your question for our attendees, please? My, my, my question is that I, I want them to, 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 to just uh, elaborate on uh, this uh, issue, for example, have they, for example, experienced such students with, with disabilities and, and how they, they treat them in, 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 the, in, the, in the class? Just uh, this question. Am I audible? Yes, please, you can. Yes, yes, you are audible and your question is understood. Okay. Welcome all. Yes, good evening, Sharon. Good evening, Matasim. 
And yes, which kind of disabilities? Miss Awatev is, is asking in the chat box. Which which kind of disabilities? In general, yeah, yeah, I'm speaking she asked in general. You. In general, in general, Miss Awatev. If you have a uh, students who have disabilities, how can you treat them? Can you give uh, some information, some of your experience, please? Yes, you can elaborate on this. Yes, yes, Miss Leila. Are you raising your hand? Or by mistake? Miss Leila. Yes, yeah, yes. I can answer uh, yes. to uh, some disabilities. Yes, I please, think there are ahead. some issues. Yeah, some issues. Maybe uh, the, there are medical uh, disabilities and uh, issues for children. Also development. The, there are some issues related to learning and uh, yeah. others with behavior and others maybe with mental uh, health. Yeah, excellent. That is very nice. Uh, are okay. they? Uh, are they? Uh, yes, thank you. Are they with, with, with other, for example, other? They have, are they engaged with other students, for example, or they are? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the here, maybe the disabilities uh, the, of the, the children. They are here, yeah. I think they are classified internationally like this, yeah. uh, I guess. Yeah. Which is, I am um, uh, the behavior ones, mental ones, yeah. uh, medical. Uh, development yeah. and then the last one is the learning where yeah. we, should we talk about this lexic students and uh, uh, of all special uh, needs and uh, learning supports to make the students uh, the education inclusive yeah yeah thank you, yeah. Well, uh, thank, thank you yes. very much thank you yeah. yes thank you miss leila Yes, uh, uh, actually, uh, in my students, there are some of these uh, students who have disabilities. But in my classes, as I, I am teaching uh, from the ninth graders to the twelfth graders, thanks God, no one have this kind of disabilities. But some mm. of the students at school, I see them uh, of this kind. And many teachers uh, uh, were talking about this kind of disabilities. They said that these students uh, cause a lot of troubles for their uh, classmates, for example. Yeah. Uh, uh, they are uh, uh, suffering also because other students don't want to play or to contact with them. And this caused a lot of problems and the trouble for them, uh, either in the social uh, side or the academic side, for example. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Awiya, for all this excellent information. Okay. Of course, Thank as you. we know that we have all these types of, of uh, of disabilities and each type of disability has its own way of treatment for example if for example it is a, a physical disability it has own uh, way for example if it is related to for example visual uh, the, the teacher needs for example at least uh, to, to 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 use when he use a black uh, a board or something like that he should write in very uh, a uh, font, a very big font, for example, uh, using colors and, and, and the like. We have, there are some strategies, for example, to follow with these uh, uh, special needs, for example. Uh, behavioral, they have also their own way of, of treatment. So it, it differs according and it depends on the kind of, of uh, what we call the disability. Each has its own uh, way of treatment. And uh, Individual with Disability Education Act, this is an act which is issued by the United States, uh, United Nations, and they say that uh, all children with disabilities are entitled to a free appropriate in public education. That, uh, that meets their that meet unique needs and uh, prepares them for further education, for, for employment, and for independent living, for example. Uh, disabilities and their management. Now we are going to speak about how uh, to manage these disabilities. For example, uh, physical impairment. 
This, for example, it includes low vision. Some some students they see, but they they, they, they they do not see quite well, and some are completely blind. Uh, refers to any degree of impairment to a person's ability to see, as that affect his or her daily life. Those uh, with uh, phys phys visual impairment, they need, for example, a certain kind of treatment. Uh, so, what are what, what are some strategies to deal with with visual impairment? If, for example, you have yeah, a but before that, please, before that, please, Miss Leila, uh, some wrote in the chat box. Can you read them, please? There are some nice uh, answers. Yeah, Miss Leila. Ms. Leila, are you with us? Yes. Yes, yes Ms. Howard. Yes, it's please, free. please read mm. some of our attendees' answers in the chat from the chat box. Yes, Mrs. Awad, if she, she said, I have one with physical ha handicap. Uh, she means a student. She can't yeah. uh, interact correctly with her classmates. She's shy and reluctant. The worst yeah. that she is always absent and trying to cope with this matter, sending her the course uh, materials via Google Classroom. And when she is uh, present, I try to assign her a role to engage her mainly in the teamwork. Yes, yeah. excellent. Thank, uh, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. This is just a Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Awati, for, for the creative. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. For, 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 uh, they, these are special tips for children with visual impairment. For those who have, uh, for example, they cannot see. Uh, for enable physical assess. Uh, for example, they have a walking cane. They have a walking cane so that they discover what is in front of them. Uh, they, they texture, the, the, for example, the service of the of the place should be very textured so that they can easy food uh, textured flooring so that they can it, it shouldn't be very smooth because they cannot work easily uh, provide large print books uh, the, the books should be very large with with with, with uh, print books magnifying devices also they can have a magnifying device they can use this magnifying device so that they can clearly see uh, also, give audio tape, braille, or electronically formatted notes, handouts, and text. Sometimes, for those who are blind, completely blind, they need braille, electronically formatted notes. Uh, also, allow verbal description of visual aids. If you are, you, you for example, you use a certain picture, just let the other students who can see clearly, they describe the, this uh, picture so that they can also grasp. Support with raised uh, line drawings and tactile models of graphic materials. They can use this graphic material drawing so that they can feel it. Use Braille lab signs and equipment labels. Or auditory lab, warning signs, almost all these together. Also ensure good lighting in classrooms. For example, those who can, who can see but with difficulty, they need light. A preferential seating strategy. They they have a prefer. They they should have special seats uh, where they can easily access the place without any difficulties. So uh, these, what do you think of all these uh, strategies for dealing with uh, visual uh, uh, impairment, for example, uh, children with visual impairment? Do they help? Or do we use such uh, uh, strategies for, with our students? Hello? Nobody? Hello? Yes, you can write in the chat box, please. Can you repeat? Ms. Awatif asks you to repeat the, the, your question, yeah. please. I, I ask her, uh, for example, enabling physical access. This strategy is provide large green books, uh, give audio tape uh, descriptions, allow verbal descriptions, 
support with raised drawings and tactile models, uh, use Braille lab signs, ensure good lighting in classrooms. Do these strategies, for example, do they use these strategies? I just ask, for, for, for example, for those who are having this visual impairment, those who cannot easily see, or those who are completely blind. Uh, have they encountered such a student, for example? We, we, we meet them every day, for example. Okay. Anyone? Uh, Ms. Awatif sees, of course. Ms. Awatif, uh, Awatif uh, adds here. Of course, these are useful and I use some of them. What, yeah. can, what uh, do you use, Ms. Awatif? Can you write or you can raise your hand and talk? Yes, Ms. Awatif, you can add. Can uh, you elaborate about the box? Uh, Akra Akram. Akra Akram asks, can you elaborate about the box? Uh, Ms. Awatif adds, I help students to sit in front. This is one procedure that she is following. She asks these students to sit in front in order to help them. She yeah. adds, or I ask one uh, uh, other students to help him. Yeah, excellent. And I give him handouts. Yeah, excellent. Great. Great. Thank you, Miss Awatif. Thank you very much. She has very clear, clear vision about uh, the treatment of this. Uh, Miss Awatif have a very clear vision about how to deal with the visual impairment. Uh, also focus on hearing aids that may include transmitter, receiver, system with a clip or microphone for the teacher. If using such a microphone, it is not necessary the speaking or teaching style. Also ensure that any background noise is minimized. They do not like uh, distractors. Uh, repeat clearly any questions asked by a student in the class before giving a response. Make a repeat. They speak facing the class to ensure better lip reading, lighting, uh, two needs to be good. Also, lighting must be good. Give notes as handouts, as, as Mr. Awatif mentioned, prior to the class, before the class, you can give them, for example, notes. Uh, provide caption transcriptions of audio uh, teaching classes. For example, you can also give them caption transcription so that they, it will help them. Uh, uh, a locomotor impairment. This impairment is is uh, it is a problem in moving from one place to another. That is I, 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 what we call disability in legs. They cannot move easily. But in general, it is taken as disability related to bones, joints, and muscles. It might be because of uh, illness, for example. It causes problems in a person movement like walking, picking or holding things in hand. Some students cannot easily pick up something. Uh, cerebral palsy, for example, this is the most common motor disability in childhood. It is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance. This is related to the cerebral uh, and, and posture due difficulty in using the message. Also, locomotor impairment is, is another one. Uh, there is also intellectual disability, and this is the most uh, uh, the most difficult uh, the most difficult one. It involves problems with general mental abilities that affect functioning in two areas: either intellectual functioning, such as learning, problem solving, judgment, or you are, yeah. in, you are in uh, one uh, slide from uh, from few moments. Individual with disabilities. Are you uh, supposed to be in that slide? Uh, individual with disabilities. Yes, no, no. individual. So um, because it's um, uh, stopped. Yes, it stops. Please uh, move on. Hmm.
locomotor impairment? Yes, locomotor impairment. Yes, now, now it's clear. Okay. Now, before, no, no, locomotive or intellectual disability. Uh, I'm in the locomotive, yes. Uh, up. Exactly. No, yes, no, this one. Now, now you can see it, okay? Yes. Uh, for, for locomotive, is it clear or I uh, must make it any bigger? Yes, yes, it's clear now. Yes, it yes, is. Yes. Okay. For the locomotive impairment, this is related to moving from one place to another. Uh, our, our we call the disability legs, but in general it is taken as disability related to bones or joints or muscles. It causes problems in a person movement like walking or picking or holding things in hand. And also another one, uh, cerebral palsy, which is the most common motor disability in childhood. This because it is a group of disorders that affects a person's ability to move or to maintain balance, you cannot stand still and posture to use difficulty in using muscles. Uh, we have also intellectual disabilities and, and, and this is the most difficult one, for example, but it can be also treated. It involves problems with general mental abilities that affect functioning in two areas. Either intellectual functioning, just like learning, problem solving or judgment or adaptive functioning, uh, daily life activities, communication, independent living, uh, for example, tackling things. Uh, Down syndrome, which is very known, is a genetic disorder. This is, uh, it comes from a genetic one. Caused when abnormal cell division results in extra genetic material from chromosome 21. Down syndrome causes a distinct Facial appearance, and you can know, for example, from the appearance, uh, this one. Uh, intellectual disability and development delays also. It may be associated with steroid disease. For example, some, sometimes it is linked to diseases. Uh, we, have, we should have specific tips for children with uh, these difficulties. Uh, use baby steps, start by breaking each lesson down into its simplest most vital components. Make your lesson very simple. Provide lots of repetition. Uh, incorporate more multisensory learning. Use, for example, uh, special cards, pictures, uh, videos, almost all these. M modify curriculum content to focus on life skills. So, so that they can, if they have problem in life, they can also uh, cater with them. Uh, is it moving? Are, are the slides moving? Yes, in autism, autism, autism spectrum uh, disorder. Yeah, autism spectrum disorder. This is impaired have, communication, have... impaired reciprocal social interaction, uh, restricted repetitive and stereotype patterns of behavior. They just uh, copy what others do or interest, uh, sensory issues. Just like processing disorder may be seen, maybe with or without uh, difficulty, for example, intellectual difficulty disorder and other uh, com comorbidities. So, so this is uh, related to communication. Uh, it is related to social interaction, cannot interact with others. Uh, also uh, very restricted a uh, very repetitive stereotype patterns. And if, for example, you do something, they will do that, the, the thing. Uh, they just copy. Uh, sensory issues, for example, uh, they, they, they cannot easily, for example, uh, uh, use their senses, maybe with or without uh, intellectual difficulty and other uh, ones. Uh, specific tips for, for children with autism, those who, you know, and autism is very clear. They do not want to, to speak to others. They, they want to live alone. So follow clear, established and orderly routine. They should be very clear routine. 
provide warning and preparation when change are anticipated. If you want to change something, just before, uh, just warn them. Tell them that you are going to change uh, the place or to change uh, the strategy or something like that. Allow planning and practicing of communication strategy. Provide a quiet area where the student can take a time out if necessary. For example, there should be a place you can, for example, sit for a time. Use visual schedules and graphic organizers. They like very much uh, these uh, schedules and they, uh, these graphic organizers. Allow computer use. They are very clever in using the computer, especially word processing or writing. They, they, they can use the, this uh, computer in an excellent way. You can find, for example, a child with autism using the, the telephone in an excellent way. And they are very clever, by the way. Uh, there is also behavior disorders. This is related to the behavior. Uh, attention deficit hyperactivity. This is known, very known in, 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 in our schools. Uh, you find a child who will not sit at all, move from one place to another. And he is very inattentive. If he, if he cannot follow the teacher, what is he doing? Implosivity, also, they are very implosive. Uh, oppositional defense disorder. They don't, they are very angry sometimes. Uh, they have a retake mood. They will not, uh, you will not find them in one mood. Uh, they are very argumentative. Uh, they, are, they have a definite behavior. They, they try to do something you don't want. And when their activeness, they are very active and, and, and they do not want to do what you order them to do. Uh, also conduct disorder, initiate physical fights. They can fight with others, those who are the behavioral disorder. Uh, they pull you off, threatens others. Uh, destructiveness, they can break something. And they have very physical cruelty to humans or animals. If they find a cat, they can hit the cat. They can even, even kill the cat or uh, any animal. They are very, very uh, severe. Uh, specific tips for them, keep class rules activities simple and clear. Uh, use reward positive behaviors. For example, if they behave well, just reward them, give them a present or something. Allow for many breaks. They, they want breaks. Provide fair treatment. For, for example, when, you teach, we, when we teach, for example, students like this, uh, we, we divide the, the lesson in, in very small junk because they cannot, for example, be attentive for a long time. Just divide the lesson in very, very small junk and move from one to another and, and give them breaks. Provide fair treatment for all. If you want to treat them, treat them all the same. Use motivational strategies to can motivate them. Teach and actively employ mindfulness techniques such as coping strategies for stress reduction, uh, anger management. For example, sometimes if you feel that this is student with, with, you can make a song, for example, you can uh, let them move uh, you can, for example, make a game, uh, use a TBR, something like that. Uh, conflict resolution, uh, ex exercising self-restraint. Help them, for example, uh, to, 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 to change their behavior. Uh, learning difficulty, uh, disability. Uh, specific learning disability describes a group of disorders that affect how someone learns. The, this common type of uh, this learning disability, the dysgraphia, uh, dyscalculia, dyscalculia, and they, 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 have, they have problem in calculation. Uh, auditory processing disorder, uh, visual processing disorder, they, they cannot see it well, development coordination disorder. These are all the type of uh, learning difficulty disabilities. Uh, dyslexia, we know that 
uh, it is very well known. For example, they have uh, problems with identifying sounds and letters. They mix between letters. Uh, they write from, from left to right or from right to left. For example, if, if they are writing in English, you find them, they write from right to left. Uh, they have problems with, they, they see, uh, they, they see the, the, the letters in a way others cannot, uh, for example, see. If, for example, uh, the word group, for example, they say the R before the G or the B before the U. And so they have, uh, this is dyslexia is very known and it has its own uh, treatment. Uh, dysgraphia, this is related to graphs, uh, shapes, and, and then uh, dyscalculia, this is related to calculation. They cannot calculate well. Uh, they, this is also their auditory processing disorder. They, they, they cannot, they have problems. They, they hear, but they cannot hear everything. They are not very attentive. They could not hear every time. Our visual, they cannot see. And some, some, for example, some uh, students, if, if, if you place something in front of them, they just trip on it because they do not see everything. They have poor observation. Uh, development coordination disorder, uh, coordination between the hand, the eye, and, and so on. Uh, Nonverbal uh, uh, also learning difficulty. For this, uh, they have used multisensory learning approach. You know the multisensory learning approach, uh, where we use all, the, for example, all for all styles, learning style. We use, for example, visual cards. We use pictures. We use videos. Uh, uh, we use, for example, graphs. And, and also, so we use uh, something which use all the sense and also moving, touching. They also, they touch something and then they can identify it. If you get them, it is better for them. Provide a systematic, clearly sequenced teaching. Uh, teaching must be very sequenced and process in addition to content. Your content, they like, for example, the teacher who writes in a very clear uh, style, in a very systematic style. They, they, they do not, for example, some teachers write in part and, and they write in another part. And so this is very distracting for them. They want to follow in a very systematic way. Allow accommodation and modification. If they can modify, you can change. Render psychological support, uh, such as counseling and guidance. Guide them, for example. Give them uh, psychological support. Encourage them. Enhance self-awareness. Let them be aware of their problem. Recognize our own strengths and areas where support is needed in order to move from confusion to clarity. They need, for example, much effort from the teacher. Uh, this is, these are the case. I, uh, these are some scenarios uh, with which, inshallah, we will finish our, our uh, webinar today. For example, case, I want them to identify these cases according to the difficulties we, we mentioned. Joseph is an eight-year-old boy He's studying grade two. He is restless in class and is often out of his seat during the class hours. He is able to answer questions well orally, but he is unable to write them in complete sentences. Mass seems to be an uphill skill. He is like, for example, climbing a skill task for him, and he tries to avoid mass lessons. What special needs condition thing it is most likely to be, according to what we mentioned. Do you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yes, surely. Go on. Okay. I just want the, the teachers to identify what kind of a special need is Joseph. We, I'm checking their, their, their follow-up.
Yes. This Hawate brought many nice things. Yeah. Uh, she says, which one is the most difficult to cope with in classroom according to scientists, educationists, and teachers? Do you have any answer? These kind of disab disabilities can hamper uh, the teaching process, and those students need an intervention of specialists to help teachers deal with them because teachers are not supposed to be professional in neurology uh, and physical deficiency. Uh, then she adds, yes, exactly. Sometimes they write symbols instead of correct words. And yeah. she also writes, learning difficulties differ from learning troubles. The first one could be treated by the teacher himself through such tips you mentioned and extra work. But the second is neurological mostly, and it needs a specialist behavior yeah. disorder. Then, she yes, yeah. thank you, Ms. Awat. If you are very active participant. Thank you. Thank I you. want to comment on her on her uh, participation. Yeah, and it's very, 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 very fruitful. Yes, uh, it, it is very important for 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 such a, a kind of uh, difficulty is to be treated and to be dealt with a specialist, particularly which is related to uh, the uh, behave. Uh, sorry, to the mental one, because as she mentioned. Uh, this is cannot easily be cured by by teachers. It needs a lot of, for example, sometimes even they can go to the doctor, a specialist, for example, because something is related with cognition, uh, with the with the with the brain. For example, there is some part of the brain which is is responsible of, for example, remembering, which is is responsible of calculation and almost all these together. So they need a specialist, but we as teachers, at least we should have some uh, tips or for some, uh, for example, some ideas to help us to treat, for example, especially just those with uh, uh, behavior, how can we treat them? Uh, they, they misbehave, for example. Those who are hyperactive, for example, what kind of task, what kind of activities should be, for example, included in a lesson so that we can all, all uh, put them together with their colleagues. This is, thank you very much, Mr. Awatif. Uh, it seems that you are a specialist. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Rose, is studying in fourth standard. Her eye contact is poor. She closes her ears when exposed to loud noises. When she sees a stranger, she goes to her and smells her. Her verbal communication is limited to her immediate needs. She flaps her hand in front of her face when she gets frustrated. Her academic performance is below average. I require substantial support. What kind of special need is this? For example, when we, when we see her, for example, these are, are, are clues. I, I, her eye contact is poor. She closes her, or sometimes we call this is autism. For example, she is not able to communicate easily, as we said and uh, mentioned before. Thank you. So this, we want the role of parents. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is another one. Uh, Seema is a student in grade three. She has difficulty grasping and remembering concepts. Parents had reported that her development milestones had been delayed. She also has issues in communication and socializing with others. She is not yet completely independent in activities of daily living, such as dressing, uh, grooming, and uh, this is might, might be related to locomotive because she, she cannot coordinate between her hands and grieving things and something like that. So the role of parents provide undivided attention to the child every day. Be your child advocate. Try to advocate, to try, for example, uh, to look for excuses. Be proactive to support your child. 
develop patience and resilience. Understand your child needs and strength. Keep yourself updated about your child and his or her condition. Work collaboratively with teachers and professionals to support your child. Remember, your influence outweighs all. We know that the influence of the parents is, is, is the most important one. And that is all. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for collaboration and uh, your, your ideas, especially Awatif and others. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Leila. Thank you, Ms. Shopee. Yes. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Khaled, for this fruitful session about addressing unique challenges faced by special needs. Thank you very much. And let's move to our participants' questions. If there are some questions, please, you can raise your hands. And Ms. Leila, you can lead the discussion. Yes, Ms. Leila. Hello, Ms. Leila. Yes, it seems that she is not with us. Yes, Ms. Awat, if you can unmute yourself and go ahead, please. Yes, I will let you to open your mic. Please go ahead. Now you Thank can you. start. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Ms. Chalkia, and thank you, Doctor, because um, it was such a very fruitful session. Um, even if it was not something new, but I, um, I learned a lot today uh, from the tips the doctor has given us. Um, I have no question, actually, but I uh, participate just to thank you, Doctor, to thank you, Ms. Chalkia. I'm waiting and I'm um, looking forward to... Um, participating in such a good uh, sessions. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Thank so you much. very much. Thank you very much. Yes, you were very active. Thanks for your participation as others. Thank you. Yes. Another question, please. If there is any other question, you can raise it. Yes. And I will send, uh, of course, the form for certificates. But before that, let's introduce our part of our guest speaker uh, certificate, please. Wait a minute. I will uh, stop uh, sharing. Yeah. Yes. No. No. Yes. Now I shared. Is it visible? No. Sorry. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, first of all, I will uh, give you this uh, certificate of ambassadorship for, for, for your valuable participation, Mr. Khaled Ibrahim. So, you deserve this certificate of ambassadorship from the Arab English Teachers Association. Uh, thank you very much for being with us for many times, and we also look forward to meeting you another time in our uh, sessions and in your valuable and distinguished pres presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for all these and for for even giving me a chance uh, to participate with my colleagues, with my excellent colleagues. Uh, and they have been, for example, have uh, excellent ideas. Uh, we benefited a lot from their participation. And uh, they have a lot of ideas which will promote and develop uh, the career of all teachers, as well as our students. We are all here working together for the sake of our development of our nation. And thank you, Ms. Shogia, for all these excellent weapons you are so you are dealing, you are guiding, you are leading, you are thank doing you. so much work. Thank you very much. And thank you, Ms. Leila. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's watch this short video because we didn't 
begin with it, please. No, sorry. Yes, if there is any question, please, you can go ahead. Either by writing or by raising your hands, but be after the video, please. The internet access is so weak, so sometimes it causes a lot of trouble here. Is it visible? Yeah, There's yeah. a place that I found in the shade on the ground. Far from all the worries and troubling sound. When I go there to be by myself, only me. No one can guess what I came there to see. There's a sun in the sky. There's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly And in the distance I see someone waving at me I hope that it's you, but who else could it be? I guess it would be nice To belong in your arms Thank you for watching. Yes. Who has a question? Link is not working. No, it works. It works. But it seems that you have the problem. Just copy it. If you have a problem, copy it and paste it in another browser. Help, please. Yes. But there are there are many who have their certificates. I will send it another time, inshallah. Yes, I will stop recording.